the member for Dawson, seconding the motion. Um, the member for Dawson has the call. Thank you, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. As a North Queenslander, I can assure you that severe tropical cyclones can have a huge impact on a community. They're both frightening and devastating, and Cyclone Pam was no different when it slammed into our neighbours in the Pacific. And uh, while the winds howled around homes in Vanuatu, North Queensland held its breath. And when the terror had passed and thousands of families started picking up the pieces of their broken homes and shattered lives, North Queensland felt the grief. North Queensland shares a special bond with the people of Vanuatu for one simple reason. They are family. The Mackay region is home to the largest Australian South Sea Islander community in this country. These are the Australian-born descendants of Pacific Islander labourers brought to Australia to work in the sugarcane fields in the early days of the industry in the 1900s and the 1800s. While some of them came of their own free will, many were tricked or kidnapped under the practice of blackbirding. So while Cyclone Pam was wreaking havoc in the Pacific Islands, the thoughts of many in Mackay uh, were with family and friends. North Queenslanders understand, as, as well as anyone, the frightening nature of severe tropical cyclones and the destruction that they can cause. In Vanuatu, the havoc was extensive. Most homes in Port Vila are damaged or destroyed. Across the 80 islands of the archipelago, villages are flattened, power lines down, phones are out and families are left without food, water or shelter. The Australian government has responded quickly with the arrival in Port Vila of the HMAS Tobruk, having departed Townsville in North Queensland with 335 personnel on board, carrying troops and equipment from the 3rd Combat Engineer Regiment and additional Australia aid, Australian aid supplies. The Australian Defence Force, through Operation Pacific Assist, has delivered tools and equipment for the repair of homes, water pu purification and shelter, as well as health and hygiene products. More than 500 defence personnel are now deployed to Vanuatu. And given the difficult topography of the region, HMAS Tobruk will be a valuable asset, allowing delivery of supplies, equipment and reconstruction teams by landing craft, helicopter and crane. In the immediate aftermath, uh, the government sent an Australian medical assistance team, otherwise known as OSMAD, of 28 people to provide life-saving medical support. An urban search and rescue team of 56 people were dispatched to help with the immediate clean-up and early reconstruction, focusing initially on the Port Vila Hospital. Now, over March 16th and 17th, the Australian government assisted 242 people to return to Australia via Australian Defence Force military aircraft, including 208 Australians and 34 foreign nationals. Today, the government continues to work closely with our counterparts in New Zealand to coordinate the medical assistance, uh, including support for the New Zealand NGO health specialists. We're also working closely with international NGOs and the UN to coordinate additional support. Now, while the government has coordinated a swift and comprehensive response, non-government organisations have also been quick to react and the public has responded to calls for donations. In Mackay, the community has launched its own coordinated response. A team of Australian South Sea Islander community members and organisations uh, met in Mackay last week. Uh, as the appointed chair of the local response team, uh, Mr Greg Sutherland, has provided me with an update from that meeting, and I thank him and his colleagues for the professional and thorough manner in which they have uh, undertaken this task. They recognise the recovery process will be long and arduous, and consequently they are working on short, medium and long-term strategies to assist with their families in Vanuatu. Fundraising began immediately with the organising of a luncheon, market day and scent sale, with further plans for a concert and a dinner. And I make spe special mention of organisations like Madassia and Marabista, uh, Frangipani Art and Culture Group, uh, Yamadi Hack, uh, who have joined forces for this united cause. And I note also that the Queensland Police Liaison Officers are lending a hand with Rotary Collection Cans. The Rotary Club of Mackay has established the Rotary Australia World Community Service Project, which will assist with donations. As I said, the group recognises the need for ongoing support, which will be required beyond the emergency of the first few days. The Marty Hack has already received donations from Morumbar and will continue their collection for a shipping container. Meanwhile, they're seeking support for transporting the shipping container to Vanuatu. The Australian government and the South Sea Islander communities in North Queensland are deeply concerned with the welfare of our neighbours and family in the Pacific and will provide whatever assistance we can to help them through the recovery process. On behalf of those who desperately need our help, I offer thanks and support to our local community, lending a hand, ably led by Greg Sutherland and Aaron Tamara. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Vanuatu, Kiribati and Tuvalu. 
We wish them a safe and speedy recovery. Can I also, in the brief seconds I have left, mention Dr uh, Graham Cumming, who has gone over there to assist those people. When he was asked why, he said, uh, because I'm going to help my family. That sums up the North Queensland attitude when it comes to this. I thank the member for